Did you know that when looking at landmass, Montana is the fourth largest state in America? Well, it is. In fact, with a whopping area of 147,000 square miles, Montana is more than double the size of the entire New England region, which includes six separate states, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. That's to say, Montana is a massive state, only slightly smaller than California, by far the most populated state in the U.S. And yet cattle in Montana outnumber residents two to one. As the state of Montana has a population of just 1.1 million residents, meaning that the city core of San Jose, California has about as many residents as the whole state of Montana. But this video isn't about a third tier city in central California. No, it's about why nobody lives in Montana, the 41st US state admitted to the Union 133 years ago in 1889. Before I break down all of the reasons Montana has so few residents, not just compared to other states of its significant size, but also tiny states like Maryland, I think it's important to first consider Montana's storied history and recently growing notoriety. Yes, frankly, that was a shameless reference to Yellowstone, perhaps America's favorite modern TV series, and potentially a small part of why Montana is finally growing at a meaningful rate. But that will all have to wait until later in this video, because Montana's road to statehood was, let's just say, a little bumpy. Now, as with all of the American West, the state of Montana, which is specifically located in the American Mountain West, was first inhabited by Native Americans long before any colonies, territories, or states ever existed. In fact, Montana had been left untouched by settlers until the Lewis and Clark Expedition in 1804. With that said, Montana didn't become a territory of the U.S. until 60 years later in 1864 when prospectors discovered gold there. Miners and cattle ranchers were of the first few groups of people to establish that early Montana territory. Montana, along with other parts of the early American West, started growing more significantly around that time as a result of westward railroad expansion, the Homestead Act, and the captivating nature of Manifest Destiny. Montana then became a U.S. state about 20 years later in 1889, alongside North Dakota, South Dakota, and Washington, a result of Congress passing the Generous Enabling Act of 1889. Significant silver and copper reserves were then discovered as sheep and cattle farming expanded until drought and waning demand from the conclusion of World War I ruined many Montana farmers and families, creating a depression that predated but stretched into the nationwide Great Depression of 1929, which lasted in the U.S. and Montana until the Second World War. In fact, it was the economic and population changes that came along with the conclusion of World War II that pushed Montana into the more modern version of itself that we know today. With an economy based mostly on advanced agriculture, tourism, healthcare, and energy production, and with less family-operated farms and more residents living in the urban portions of the state. Now, those urban areas are actually relatively small cities in reality, though. As the biggest cities in Montana are Billings with a population of 117,000 residents, Missoula with a population of 74,000 residents, and Great Falls with a population of 60,000 residents. While some of the most notable Montana cities, like Bozeman, the state's best-known and most expensive city due to its incredible nature, and Helena, the capital of Montana, have even smaller populations of just 54,000 and 33,000 residents respectively. And yet Montana has a growing GPD of about $50 billion and a total of 166,000 registered businesses and… wait, that can't be right. Why does Montana have one business for every seven residents? While Montana isn't known for its corporate footprint and the state isn't home of any Fortune 500 companies, its GDP has grown about 7% in just the past couple of years and it's rated 7th in the nation for overall fiscal stability. That's because Montana, and especially its famous resort cities like Bozeman, have become increasingly popular with wealthy Americans looking to enjoy the impeccable nature, safety, high quality, and slow pace of life in America's third least populated state, when looking at population density that is. See, Montana is home to Glacier National Park, the Lewis and Clark Trail, and portions of Yellowstone. No, not that Yellowstone, I'm talking about America's favorite national park here. But with 12.1 million households watching the season 5 premiere of Yellowstone, I would think that the series has probably helped elevate Montana's popularity nonetheless, due to the millions of people watching Yellowstone and with its producers spending nearly $100 million filming just its latest season there. However, I would argue that the primary reasons people are finally moving to Montana, a state that had 719,000 residents in 1972 and only 799,000 residents nearly two decades later in 1989, but also a state that grew 11.5% over just the past decade. 
Well, it's their unique nature, culture, and privacy, their strong economy, relatively low taxes, and strong statewide fundamentals. Wait, this video is supposed to be about why nobody lives in Montana, not why the state could be entering a boom period. That's right. See, modest economic and population growth in recent years, while noteworthy, hasn't changed the fact that Montana is one of the least populated states in America. And I would go as far as to argue that, for all the reasons that Montana can be a pretty wonderful place, there are also several reasons that Montana has always seen so little settlement. It started with Montana's dependence on inherently complicated natural resources like gold, silver, energy, and even grassland. But now I would say it's Montana's problematic affordability, as the median household income there of about $60,000 is way out of step with the state's median home price of $464,000. And the best places in Montana, you know, the ones attracting wealthy out-of-state residents, are even far more expensive and unattainable than that. The weather there is harsh and the winters are brutal. The economy lacks diversity. There are very few city amenities. On oh, with 4,622 retail workers, Walmart is the state's biggest employer. 